In this demo video, we will introduce privacy preserving shared access to computing on sensitive data, a feasibility study, collaborated between University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center and UCSDI Dash teams. Let's start with a quick overview of IDASH. IDASH stands for Integrating Data for Analysis, Anonymization and Sharing. IDASH is one of the national centers for biomedical computing. There are total eight national centers across the U.S., supported by NIH, among which, IDASH is the youngest national center founded in 2010. The IDASH Center is hosted by Division of Biomedical Informatics on the campus of the University of California, San Diego, which aims at addressing fundamental privacy challenges to research progress and enables data sharing and collaborations anywhere and anytime. Nowadays, data sharing is everywhere, which can be used to improve the quality of life. Let me walk you through a quick example. Alice wants to find a nice restaurant to celebrate her boyfriend's birthday. With the help from an online restaurant recommendation service provider, Alice quickly reserved a table for two for dinner at ABC Restaurant at 7 p.m. based on the reviews shared by other users. Then, she resorts to a search engine for birthday gift recommendation. The search engine provides her a list of gift options based on the recommendations shared by other users. When Alice is heading to the shopping center to get a gift for her boyfriend, she got traffic information from an online navigation provider by aggregating location and speed information shared by other users who are using the same service. When Alice was using these online services, she also shared her intentions with these service providers. Then restaurant and merchant can provide personalized coupon and sales information to Alice. The online navigation provider also shares Alice's geo information to predict traffic and suggests optimized routing information to avoid traffic. Similarly, medical data sharing such as patient records, genome data, drug usage, test results etc. will also improve healthcare. For example, heart disease may cause moderate to severe condition and affects all age groups. By sharing the age information of heart disease patients across the US. Doctors and researchers can better understand the age distribution of heart disease mortality in the U.S. Unlike other personal data, sharing medical data may result in some potential risks, if it is handled without enough care. For example, insurance company may deny or increase the premiums of your health insurance based on your shared health information. Moreover, you may also lose your job, as your employer may think you will be no longer suitable for the position due to the shared health condition. One common question in the community is to share or not to share. One may want to restrict any data access to achieve the best data protection, whereas such strategy will result in zero data usability. In contrast, someone may want to make data open accessible, which may maximize the data usability, but without providing any data protection. It turns out we need to resort to new method for achieving both high data usability and strong data protection. Such workaround is called protected data access, and this is what iDash can help. The remaining examples in video will demonstrate how to achieve protected data access. Let's first take a look at an example of prediction of heart disease. Suppose Institute A wants to learn how to prediction heart disease based on some existing medical records. It would be easier to see the pattern by drawing a 2D scatter plot where the horizontal direction corresponds to upper blood pressure in terms of MMHG. The vertical direction refers to the age in terms of years. Each cross mark represents a normal individual with the corresponding blood pressure and age information as its coordinate. Similarly, the check marks denote the exist of heart disease. Now, the size and the location of each circle can be used to represent the aggregated information of each type of health condition, and the record level data are no longer needed in the future prediction. Now we can use the aggregated circle information to protect record level data privacy, as well as preserve the data utility for heart disease prediction. For example, if a new age and blood pressure combination falls into the heart disease circle, the Institute A can predict it highly looks like a person with heart disease. We can also extend the previous example into a privacy preserving distributed collaborative framework. Suppose we have two institutes A and B as well as a trusted third party. Both institutes A and B wants to share their aggregated circle information with a trusted third party. Then, the trusted third party can learn a global information circle without accessing the record level data. Therefore, 
We protected data privacy as well as maintain the data privacy. In summary, iDash provide integrated solution for data analysis, anonymization and sharing. Our services can protect data privacy, preserve data utility and promote data sharing. This is the end. Thanks for watching this video demo.